Welcome back to MK's Global Rasoi. Today's uh, special recipe is eggless buns. Buns are very similar to your breads, but they're different in shapes. They can be sweet as well. Let's try and make them. The ingredients for making the buns include oil, two cups of all-purpose flour or maida, three tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of milk powder, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of yeast, half a cup of water, sesame seeds to sprinkle and the cling wrap. To make the buns we need to make a small flour mixture. For that I am going to take two tablespoons of flour, that's my all-purpose flour. I'm going to roast it a little. Once the, uh, the flour is roasted, I'm going to add half a cup of water. I'm going to cook this for about a minute. I'm mixing it together. There should be no lumps. And your mixer sh mixture should be nice and smooth. You can see that this mixture is almost done. Now I will set it aside until it cools. As the flour mixture is uh, getting cooled, let's make the yeast or the liquid mixture. In a bowl, I'm going to put half a cup of water, salt, half a teaspoon, sugar, that is three tablespoons of sugar. I use powdered sugar so that it melts and no, it melts faster. So now to that I'm adding a two, ta two teaspoons of yeast. And three tablespoons of milk powder. Well, now the mixture is, uh, you can say it has gotten mixed pretty well, all the ingredients. And this mixture, now I'm going to keep aside to rest for at least about five, not more than ten minutes. Let's mix all our ingredients together. This is the yeast mixture followed with two cups of your all-purpose flour or maida. And we are mixing our flour mixture which is nice and cooled down. Well, if you, you see this is right now a little sticky dough. If you find it too sticky, then you can add a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour and then you need to knead it. Well, now I'm going to transfer it onto my platform or a workstation and I'm going to knead this. Well, our dough is ready. If you can see, it is sticky to a certain extent. See, it's sticky. We're going to let this rest for about an hour or two hours in a bowl. Take the same bowl and I'm going to layer it with oil. I'm going to cover this with a cling film so that no air gets into this bowl. And the yeast is given time to activate. It's given time to allow the dough to rise. Well, as you can see, the dough has risen very nicely. Now, we are going to open this wrap. Wow. 
Wow, now that is amazing. So let's remove the dough. It is soft. our burger buns the dough in uh, on the plate and we're going to now wrap it up in cling flim and keep it for another half an hour well my half an hour is done and you can see that my dough balls have increased in size let's unwrap it I'm going to now Coat this lightly with cold water. After the water, I'm going to drizzle sesame seeds on the buns. You can add black. I have, I have white, so I'm putting white sesame seeds. Well, now I'm placing it into the oven. And this will go at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. While the burgers are hot out of the oven, you can layer it with your butter. Well, our amazing buns are ready with the sesame seeds on top and it looks really yum. I cannot wait to just try this one. I have cut it open and you can see how lovely it is. Well, if you enjoyed this video, do wait for the next one as well because it's in continuation to make the burgers with these lovely buns. If you like the video, subscribe to it, share it with your family and friends. Don't forget, hit the bell icon to receive notifications on new recipes. Thank you so much.